we're going to be back in news talk. Let's talk Bob. Bob, we got to talk about Brainy and Amoebas. They're back. Hit me up with a well, horrible, that, shocking data. <laughs> they never go away, I guess. Not that they're back, but it is summer. It's our very close to summer. So I want to give a hat tip to the uh, Florida Department of Health in Orange County because every year at this time, they send out these swimming advisories because you know they have so many uh, freshwater lakes over there. And um, it's really, it, it is important. It, it's a relatively rare disease, right? There's been 145, 150 since 1962, but it's almost always fatal. And if, you know, you see one or two cases a year, sometimes a little bit more, um, it's important to know about it, to know these preventive measures. Um, if you're going to go to a freshwater lake or a hot spring or some other type of freshwater body, because when the water starts getting warmer, the amoeba, which are free living and they can live in this water, become more active as, and that's why it's more of a summer issue. Um, do, they, do, it, they, do they die out completely during the colder months or is it no, just because, okay, just, so so they just kind of go dormant, yeah, it, the water right. heats up, they start multiplying, making more amoeba, so yeah. therefore it's more likely that if you get into this water, you could, right. and how do you get it into your body? Oh, it has to go up through the nose. So that's the big problem. Jumping into the water. Yeah, it's, jump it's into most the common. water, fall off a water ski, you know. Uh, oh, and, fall off and, a water and, ski. I didn't even think of that. Anything that's going to cause water to rush up your nose. So if you want to prevent this amoeba, it's called the Galeria fowleri, you want to be able to protect. The only absolute way is obviously staying out of fresh water, rivers, lakes, and the like. Um, but if you have to go do that, you want to do that, um, those plugs holding your nose because only one or two cases a year yeah but you don't want to, you or your your kids you don't want them to be the one mm-hmm. because uh 98 fatality is there well let's just go to this what is the symptom that you would experience first to know that you have enough concern about you or your child that may have this well i mean like almost all infectious diseases, the first symptoms are always usually very nonspecific, right? Fever, a lot of nonspecific symptoms, but when you're going to start headache, headaches can be really brutal. Hmm. And this is a, a key point for parents. If um, you take your child to the ER, they have this blinding headache. And the first thing the doctors are going to think is meningitis. And this is a form of meningitis. It's a parasitic hmm. meningitis. Um, and they'll do a spinal tap, and they're going to see nothing in there because there won't be a bacteria or nothing. Um, and they won't be known to look for it because it's pretty rare. Florida is probably the best place for hospitals concerning this stuff. Um, you definitely want to tell the physicians in the ER that you were swimming in a freshwater body of water. And if they're going to do a meningitis test, could they test for this as well right up front? So they just ask them to do it? Could you say, listen, I know that you're going to test for that, but I know there's a chance, a remote chance they got out of this pond or yeah. whatever. Well, well, yeah, if you tell them that and they do have symptoms and they do a spinal tap, they will check for bacterial meningitis, which will be obvious, viral meningitis. But they will probably also look at it under the microscope for this amoeba. Hmm. Um and like I said, if you're in the state of Florida, state of Texas, for example, we're very well attuned to this parasite because we've seen the most cases over time. Um, what is treatment like? How do you uh, uh, can you can you do anything? What do you do? Treatment's got to be pretty rapid. Uh, we've had four survivors. So four out of roughly 160, 150 or so. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Four survivors, and and the bulk of them have been between 2013 and 2016. Actually. The first survivor in like 35 years was the second dispatch radio show that I talked about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we, it, it goes back a lot of years. Um, what they'll do is there's a an ex, ex, still considered an experimental drug called mil, miltefacin. Um, you want that pretty rapidly. And they're going to give you some other stuff, some antifungal, some other types of drugs like that. And they probably will cool your body down too, mm-hmm. right? Um, there's there's some success with this. Uh, there's been some survivors that have gone through this. Um, there's one survivor who went through this regimen, and because he started so late, eight year old boy, he did have permanent brain damage, but he did survive. That's so. That's really the key is letting them know. And the good thing, like in the state of Florida, for example, and in other states too. 
there's a company that makes the stroke miltefacin, and they're based out of Orlando. Right. And they've kind of started a consignment program with a bunch of emergency rooms. Tampa General, Orlando Hospitals, Lakeland Regional, some of the, especially those ones in the where all the lakes are at, where they basically give the drug to these hospitals so they don't have to contact the CDC. Right, you don't have a delay. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's already available. So, hmm. I mean, so that's really, really good news. And you can check out more about that at um, Profunda, Profunda.com. That's the name of the company that does it. They're based right out of Orlando. Um, so they do a consignment program in about 22, 25 hospitals around the country right now. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it's something you definitely don't want to go through. I've met many of the parents of, uh, that lost children to this at various conferences and yeah. The worm and germ guy. Outbreak news today. Check that out. See what Bob's done. He's had a lot of coverage on this. It dates back for years. So I'll try to make sure we hit some links there for you to make that easier for you to find.